Hi guys, we're talking about your plant parts worksheet. This is on page four of your packet where you colored the parts of the plant and labeled their structure and function. We'll start with the flower. This is the flower. You should have colored it purple. I'll talk about why it's got these lines in it later. So here you label flower. The flower's job is just reproduction. So the flower's job is to make um, an ovum or an egg and to make pollen, which is like the sperm of the plant, and to get those two to come together and to pollinate a plant and to make seeds. Right? So it's just reproduction. The flower doesn't have anything to do with photosynthesis. On B, this whole thing is the leaf. The leaf's job is photosynthesis. So you should have colored that green, right? For the all the chlorophyll that's in the cells that are in uh, the leaf. And then this thing in the middle that you colored orange is the stem. The stem has three jobs. It holds up the flower So that the flower can do its job, reproduction. The stem also holds the leaves up so that the leaves can do photosynthesis. I'll say it holds the leaves up toward the sun, right? Because they're trying to stretch up to the sun to do photosynthesis. And um, leaves or stems can also store energy. If you think about a stem that you eat, like celery, celery, that's a stem. So the plant has taken sugar and stored a lot of it inside that stem. Down here at the bottom, we have the roots. The roots should be blue, or not blue, the roots should be brown. The roots absorb water. They anchor the plant in the ground. And they can also store energy. The plants that come back every year, the perennial plants that you don't have to replant every year, those plants are really good at storing energy to make it through the winter. So they've stored enough that they don't have to do photosynthesis all winter and then they can come back in the spring. You could also think about potatoes, carrots, those root vegetables that you eat, that those plants have stored lots of energy in their roots. On this side, we try to give you some hints with the P and the X. That P stands for phloem. The phloem is this red line here, kind of like a little vein. It carries food down through the leaf and it can take it down to store it in the roots. Think potatoes again. Or it can take the sugar to the stem, think celery, or it can take that sugar all the way up into the plant or into the flower part of the plant. That's why I've drawn these red lines up here too. So phloem carries food. I've also been saying sugar, right? Because sugar is food for a plant. And I remember this one because it's they start with the same sound, phloem and food. That's how I remember the, that the phloem carries food. And then the other one is xylem. We made it blue because it carries water. 
the same thing. It's the roots are going to draw the water up. It's going to go into the xylem, comes into the stem, goes through the leaves, goes to the rest of the stem, goes through the flower. So the xylem takes the water all throughout the whole plant. It might help you to remember this one by remembering water it starts with a W. So you could think W, X, Y, right? There's X, Y here, so W, X, Y, water, xylem. That might help you. And then phloem and food.